What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we have Bleach, Ichigo's final Getsuga Tensho. So, yeah, it's the last one. Big, long, black hair, sort of all wrapped in bandages and stuff. If you clicked on the video, you know what it looks like already. So we'll just get into it. I'm on a landscape orientation page. Use a pencil, hit pause if I go too fast, okay? <clears throat> so we're gonna start with his eyes. Center point of my page is about here, right? So this is the center of my page. So we come up a little bit, and then we're gonna go over and start with his right eye, okay? So let's go. So we're just gonna go diagonal up. Now a lot of his eye, this eye especially, is under hair. So you only see a little bit of it, right? So we go diagonal up, and then we're just gonna bring this across like so. Like this. Right? So then the bottom eyelid, so he's real thin, sort of slender kind of eyes, right? So comes out here. This is where the bottom eyelid comes. And it goes across, like so, and it sort of curves up into here. Alright. So a lot of this is hidden, so don't worry too much. Right? You'll need to rub it out or erase it with um, a pencil eraser, okay? So his iris then, so it's like a half cut off circle. So it like, let's see, we'll go down this way. So real small, goes right down close to his bottom eyelid and up to here. Okay, tiny slender eyes. And his pupil just up here. So his eyelid is covering a lot of his eye, right? And if you want, you can just thicken up the top eyelid a little bit. We'll just go over and do the other eye. So just over here, it's probably about half the eye distance. We're in three quarter pose. So it's not, it's not a pose that's facing straight towards us, so I'd say half of his eye will fit in between the two eyes, right? So his next eye will do the same thing. So we'll go up and across, so real long. This eye is closest to us, so it's probably a little bit longer than this one. Comes to a point back here and then we go down. diagonally and then we'll bring it over underneath real skinny skinny slender eyes and then we do his half circle iris again so circle with Cut in half, basically. Cut in half by his iris, or by his eyelid. <laughs> and then his pupil, just in the middle. Like so. So he's not impressed. He looks like he's about to do some damage. Right, so we can probably see a bit more of this eyebrow here, right? So it like curves like so, like a tick, right? And it'll go real thin this direction. Back to there. And it's thicker down here. So just like a sort of a tick line, going back that way. And some of this is under hair over here, so you won't see it. His other eyebrow, I'll draw it in, but you can't really see it. You can barely see any of it, so. It's like somewhere here, so we'll go. Same, similar sort of shape, and it just ticks up. And it goes back 
this way. And it's thicker on the end. But it goes, it goes back underneath his hair all the way back here, so you don't even see any of this. So I'll just stop it here. There's no point, because it goes underneath his hair. So he's got like he's got like a big mask covering his face, like a bandaged, ripped kind of mask thing. So we'll do that just coming down underneath his eyes, right? So say like just underneath the edge of the eye here, right? So we go ripped sort of lines coming across his face. Going across the top of his nose and stuff. Like that. And it will go all the way out to where the edge of his face is. And there's, again, there's some hair, but we'll just draw it in and we can erase what we don't need after. It's pretty hard to get your proportions. We'll get his nose, we'll do a line just for the nose right here, just so we. A little sort of tick line like that, okay? Just to sort of mark where his nose would be, okay? Chin would be here, okay? So, eyebrow to the bottom of the nose is about the same as the bottom of the nose to the chin. So that's your proportion on this character for his face, right? So he's in three quarter, which means we can see a jaw here and a cheek on this side, right? So coming down from the bandage section, we're gonna bring this down. Pretty straight. And then the jaw will turn, so it'll go like so. So you're changing your angle. Bring it down. Like that, so that's like his jaw. His jaw is like in line with his nose. That's where we turn the corner. Just there with the bottom of his nose. And then, other side, right. So we have two main shapes. We have his cheek, and then where it dips in, but we can't see the jawbone because his face is turned away from us. So we'll go around for the cheek. Curves like that. And you don't want to end up in here. Just you're still underneath his eye. Okay, on this side. And then we kind of change our curve a little bit. It kind of curves back that way towards the chin a bit more. Okay. That kind of thing. So then hair, so we got like hair spikes and stuff coming over his eyes and there's all bandage lines in that, but I'll do all that at the same time. We'll just get the main bits in first. So bring this down, cross his face and you could have some like hair spikes in here. This kind of thing. His hair is mostly black, so you can't really see much of it. it, it in the manga, so it's all just black ink. Um, and then like maybe some single hair strands coming down here. And then we have a big one coming down across his, his eyes and his face here. So most of those eyes will be covered with hair. Back up like so. And this kind of goes all the way down across his face as well. So, so a lot of fringe in this itchy go form. And another one coming down across this eye, back up. So about maybe there. And then we have one that comes down this way, across his eye here. And onto his cheek, and then goes 
back up this direction. And maybe another one here, like so. There's like a little bit of a gap in here and then like this kind of thing. So you can see through a part of that. So it like it just joins this. So this is like a see-through part of his hair. Right, so he's got like hair spikes like coming down here on the side, right? And these will go like this, all the way up around his head and then big long flowing hair that's like behind his back. So we'll get the main parts of the hair done first and then we'll do his shoulders and then finish the long flowing pieces of hair, okay? So we're gonna bring his hair right up to the top of my page. So it's like, let's see. So we'll go right up, say, spike right up to the top, like right off. So you're like the whole length of his face here up to the top again, see that? So here to here is about the same as there to the top of my page. So that's your proportion. You want this length to his chin to his forehead, middle of his forehead, say, all the way up to the top. That's where the top of his hair will be, right? And these hair spikes will go the whole way down from here. So like there's a hair spike there. And they keep going like this and they go all the way down. Right, so he's got like long black hair. In true manga and anime fashion, they're just sort of spikes like that. Like so, okay. One side, and then we'll go do the other. So he's got like a part in his hair. This is where they change direction. And then you bring him down. And back in, and remember guys, like long hair, moves so it really doesn't have to be like exactly as i'm doing just once you get the direction you know? so another spike there and then we're just adding down here and then this one eventually i think goes down behind his neck so you know and there might be some single strands and stuff like that so this one will eventually run down behind his neck so we'll get on we'll do his neck first so coming down from his jaw bone right here right in the corner we're gonna do his neck and it curves out for his trapezius going this way okay it's the kind of angle you're going for and down into there. Okay. And then his neck on the other side comes down just underneath his eye. Just there. Kind of curves in because we're in three quarters, so we can see some different muscles on this side. So it curves, kind of sticks out there like that. And then his trapezius will, will come out from just under his chin. The, like his trapezius on the other side kind of comes down this way. Okay. And then we ha do have some more neck muscle lines on this side. Okay, some more anatomy. So, like this. Maybe another one here. Then you could add another neck muscle going that way. And maybe some Adam's apple type stuff or shadow under his chin. You could add a dark black shadow there if you wanted, but it's not 100% necessary. It depends on if you like hatching or shadows or anything like that. Uh, right, so then Shoulders, collarbones, etc. So, ba -ba -ba. let's 
see. So we'll do this shoulder because this one has like all black sort of energy coming out of it. So we'll do this one first. So we have like a sort of a bump here for his collarbone. And the collarbone runs all the way into the neck anyway. So your collarbone starts center of your neck and it runs out to your shoulder, okay? So it's like the top of your chest. Right, goes out this way. Sort of a line like that. And then the shoulders kind of sticks off this way and comes down. So we're far outside of his head now. Okay. And the other collarbone will go off this way too. And then shoulder comes down like so. And then we'll see his like tricep edge of his arm comes down off my page there. So in the inside of his chest, so big chest muscle just in here. Then curves down. It goes in under bandage, but we can still see some lines. So we can still see some chest muscle lines coming down this way and go underneath like that. And then maybe some going up the center of his chest. And then the side body will go down from his chest here, like that. Okay. So we can pretty much do the same thing on the other side anyway. Um, but some of it will be covered in dark black energy, right? So we'll just go We'll just go for it. So we've trapezius here, bump for like shoulder collarbone area. And then the shoulder, so comes all the way up to like here, okay? So you go out again, down, around. So most of this is in under black anyway, right? So don't don't worry too much about accuracy. You won't see much of it. So like that. And then his armpit sort of in here, like the bicep sort of area. So this is the side of the body that's the turned towards us, this turned away. So this way, this is wider. Okay. And then so we could see maybe like some shoulder lines, stuff like that. And then the other chest muscle comes down around. Underneath that way. And then we may have like ab muscle lats, but bandages mostly can't see can't see anything crazy there, so. Right, so we'll finish his hair and then we'll do that, all that flame and then all the bandages and stuff. So, that's the main shape for his body anyway. And then this big spike kicks up this way, back down. And then this will go the page so this is all dark black hair and then so like every now and then it like comes back in so sort of like this kind of thing so these are just basically gaps in the darkness So like you can add as much of these as you want really. 
because the hair goes all off that way. So if you have more room, you could fit more dark black hair in. You could add texture lines if you wanted, but it's all black, so it's totally up to you. And then we've more that goes down behind his neck on this side. Do, 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 do. So, that's basically his hair, not too bad. Okay, so bandages, right? So he's got, we can see some of his flesh, like his skin, and then it has like black lines coming out of it, right? So we'll do what we can see, just do what we can see. Correct. Bandage starts here, goes in, bumps around, his chest there. And we have another section comes out this way, down, in, and then actually wraps around the bottom of the chest, just like here, like so. Right, and then those sort of dark black areas that come out of that, so let's just go. So, do, 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 like so. this is, so these are all like wrapping around his muscles. And they're all colored black, right? Some down here as well. So you can you can add hatching or anything if you want in the shadow areas, but not hundred percent necessary. Be some maybe chest. Right, we'll do we'll do the bandage lines, we might as well. So coming across his face, so just going underneath his hair here, going across like this. It's a particular kind of pattern, so take your time and then it wraps back this way. Goes over the tip of his nose. <laughs> Sometimes there's like a double wrap, like this. There's chin. So he's wrapped like a mummy, you know. So 
So there's no other way of really describing what I'm doing here. You're just drawing lines, bumping, like they, they would have to weave and wave and stuff. Um, just going across his body, like so. And I guess some would have to come down his shoulder some way. Maybe down here. And of course there is all that black flame going up here, but we'll do that in a minute. We'll just get the rest of his um, strapping done first. Pretty slow going, but we're getting there. This one comes down across his chest. Meets another one just at shoulder level that comes across the chest this way. And then this will run across, kind of bump here a bit, going across his chest, and then back up into there. And then another one coming across his chest this way. This one runs up into his armpit, like so. And then another one on the bottom half of his chest here. There may be like an extra line every now and then, like an extra sort of bandage line, like that kind of thing, because they don't seem to be smooth, but you could draw them smooth if you wanted. Uh, right, so this kind of runs into here, goes up like so. Do, 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 do. So like these are black, these lines, and this bandage is colored. I've seen it colored sort of red. I've seen it colored blue. I guess it depends on what people think he's gonna look like if we ever get to see this animated. So more lines going down that way. Can't see much on, his, on, his, on this shoulder. We'll do one coming down the center of his body here. I guess you could kind of do them your own kind of way, but. Uh, another one there. All right, I think that's enough. So, again, like his arm is like on fire. It's got like black fire coming all up right from the shoulder, okay? So, shoulder muscle, bicep and stuff, and then there's black flame that comes out of this. So, right, so starting where his trapezius goes over his collarbone here, right? So, so right here, hooks sort of down into his armpit, right? goes down this way. So this is like a big black flame. Goes up around his shoulder. So we'll erase the lines or you color over them black, you know, just here. So, and this will go down his arm as well. So it's all like growing out of his shoulder, you know, and like here wrapping around the edge of the shoulder. Like this is all dark black shadow. All black inside here, black inside here. And then the actual thing is like growing out of his arm. So like this is dark black as well, going around his bicep. And it 
what was it? So there's all flame, sort of spike and flame coming out here, okay? So it'll make a lot more sense when this is all colored in black. So like all here, everywhere, basically, black. All right, so this is all dark black. This is all black. And then this flame goes up real long, so. Spiking every now and then. Big spike come back down. And then we bring it up. And we are gonna go right off the top of the page up here. sort of energy lines coming off this like that and then coming back down and in or right, it's sort of wavy close to his hair and right down back over his shoulder here and then there's like a hole in it. So. In here. It comes down like so. Spike down like this. Wraps around. Hmm, okay, so. So maybe some more sort of black blobs, like he, the, the artist who drew this obviously um, draws it with an ink brush. So, you know, um, we're doing it with pencil and pen and stuff, so don't worry too much about it. Um, boom. So I'll just, I'll get rid of some of the lines that we drew for the shoulder, just so you can see a bit better. Okay, so hopefully that makes a little bit more sense. You can see sort of the this is all going to be dark black where I'm putting these dots all in here. And that's like his shoulder bandaged sort of area, standard shoulder area in here. With bandage coming across, that's his bicep. And this is the black flame coming out of the shoulder. So, you know, pretty complicated in the end. Um, looks simple enough, but uh, you know, with all the bandage and the flame and stuff, turned out to be pretty tricky. Well done to anyone who was able to do that. Hope it was helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.